Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. And you? Fine, and you? Thank you. Thank you. It is Thursday. We are almost done with this week. Como no tuvimos clase el lunes. Pero we are almost done with this week, guys. Vamos a esperar unos minutitos para que se unan todos los demás. ¿Qué tal la lluvia por su lado? Ah, oh, well, it's good. It's been good. Uh, hemos tenido un poco de problemas con el techo, pero de momento todo bien. It's been good. Um, some power outages, algunas caídas de, de luz. But apart from that, it's been, it's been good. What about you? Aquí un poquito, nada más. Ay, vaya, qué bueno, me alegro. Ya nos estamos uniendo más. Saludos, Jessica, Alejandra. Good night. Hi, Alejandra, good night. Se unió Daniela también, good night. Solo estamos esperando unos minutitos, guys, para que se unan todos los demás. So that we can begin with the class. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Are you guys doing okay? ¿Hemos terminado section one? Yes. Awesome. That's great, guys. One moment, guys. Quiero ver si les puedo compartir algo. Deme un segundito. Veamos. I want to see if I can do this with you. Let's see. All right, ya estamos a las ocho. Mientras se terminan de unir todos los demás, les voy a ir pasando un archivo. Allow me one moment. All right, good night, guys. Good night, todos los que se van uniendo. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Hi, good. And you? Awesome. I'm good. Thank you. I'm ready. <laughs> awesome. That's excellent. How are the others? Is everyone ready? Yes. 
Everybody ready. Excellent. That's great. Estamos a jueves. A mí se me había olvidado que no teníamos, que no tuvimos clase el lunes. So, <laughs> estamos a un día de terminar la semana, guys. We still have to work tomorrow. We still have to have class tomorrow, but it's going to be fun. Ya mañana vamos a hacer el review del midterm exam, which means que ya estamos a la mitad de este module. How are you feeling? Exciting. <laughs> Exciting? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> awesome. Excellent, ya estamos 10 personas, estamos 8.02 de la noche y les voy a, les quiero pasar este mini um, form, solo tiene una pregunta y es completely anonymous, ok, es completamente anónimo, solo es para saber cómo vamos avanzando con la plataforma, ok, so if you guys en este momento o después, igual, igualmente se los voy a pasar por WhatsApp, por favor solo háganlo una vez, um, Uh, just so that I know how you are doing con la platform, okay? Igualmente se los voy a mandar por WhatsApp. So you can, you guys can do it cuando tengan tiempo el día de hoy. And apart from that, today we are going to be reviewing, let's see, let me share my screen. Ya se unieron más personas. Estamos Cristian, Amilcar, Alejandra, both Alejandras, Mario. Hi, good night. Good evening. Jessica, Marlene, Veronica. All right, guys. So let's get started. Let's not waste any more time. And I am sharing my screen now. Y como pueden ver, vamos a comenzar ya con la section three, guys. And this section is quite um quite small tenemos pocos contenidos before the midterm which we are going to be reviewing tomorrow lo vamos a estar revisando el día de mañana guys so let's review for section three uh in section three different topics await for us nos esperan diferentes temas such as the first one is jobs vocabulary about jobs about occupations and activities which means um There are jobs and occupations, right? Así como en español tenemos trabajos y tenemos profesiones. So um, it may not be like an office job, but if you're a car, uh, if you're a carpenter, for example, that's an occupation and that's great. Y también los vamos a ver. Vamos a ver también pronunciation of do and does and wh questions. Siempre, siempre are related to the jobs vocabulary, guys. ¿Qué vocabulario me pueden decir que conocen de trabajos o de ocupaciones? What would you guys say about that? A lawyer. A lawyer, ok. A nurse. A nurse, doctor. that's great. A doctor, excellent. Teacher. Teacher, teacher, excellent, yeah. Policeman. An accountant, a policeman or policewoman, that's correct. Excellent. ¿Qué más conocemos? Carpenter. A carpenter, fireman. that's correct. The fireman. fireman, that's correct. Really good, guys. All right. So, mechanic. A mechanic, that's great. Excellent. A car mechanic, that's yeah. great. Yes. A dentist, plumber, excellent. Those are all salesmen. Salesman. Oh, a Fireman. salesman. Yes, excellent. A salesman. A chef. A chef, excellent. A actor. An actor, yeah. An actress. Wait it. Waitress. Waitress. A waitress. Yes, excellent. A waitress. A waitress. Yeah. Yes. Pilots. Pilot. Secretary, secretary, nurse. nurse, excellent guys. Those are all perfect, perfect mm -hmm. examples. And I also, you mentioned a lot of them. Aquí tengo un archivo which has <laughs> lots of them. Policeman, okay. police. 
a policeman, police officer, which is the same thing. That's great, awesome. We have a professor, we have teachers, postman, painter, mechanic, medicaid mechanic. Taking All right. Work. I'm sorry? Business Taking administration. Work. Business administrators, yes. We have the business administrators. That's correct. That's great. Manager? No. I don't manager? Know. Yeah, a manager is a position, right? Yeah. You um so you are a manager at a store. Perfect. And yeah, that's it, great. In principal is a job. Principal? No. Uh a principal at a school? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a job. I'm a principal. Uh, you can say I'm a principal at a school. Yeah, that's a job. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Excellent, guys. All right, so I do have this one for you. And I do want to know, can you see the screen? Podemos ver esta pantalla que tiene los, uh, los jobs and professions? Yes. Yeah. Excellent, guys. So we know a waiter, right? Sabemos que es un waiter? Yeah. Excellent. And we have a waiter and we also can have a waitress, sure. which is the female version of a waiter, right? Waiter, waitress. Oh, waitress. We have, yeah, we have a waitress cuando that. es una mujer. Flight attendant. I'm sorry? Flight attendant. Oh, a flight attendant. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Quiero ver si está por aquí. I don't know if this has it here. Si no lo vamos a agregar, housekeeper. Yes, here it is. Aquí tenemos flight attendant. We have a flight attendant. That's correct. Excellent. Disney. I'm sorry? Disney. Uh, what would, what would that be? What which one is that? Yes. Yes, Disney. I'm sorry, es que, es que no lo escucho bien. I'm sorry, lo escucho como trabajo. No sé si solo soy yo. Judge. Oh, a judge. Is, is a it, judge. No, pues. Is it this one? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's so a that's purse. a judge. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Judge. Judge. Yes. Judge. Okay. Mm. Excellent. That's a judge. Mm. Perfect. That's a job as well. And Yes, a receptionist, that's great. Yeah. And as you can see, we all... Singer. A singer, yes, that's correct, excellent. Actress. Uh, uh, yes, an actress and an actor, that's correct, yeah. Perfect, guys. Excellent. So, and we also have a paramedic. And this is the same both for a man and a woman. Uh, it's a paramedic, los paramedicos, right? And we have a dentist, which is the same for a man and a woman. La mayoría de las profesiones son las mismas para hombres y para mujeres. Solo son pocas las que cambian for, like, for example, for actress, a actor, a waiter, a waitress. And that's mostly the way that they change. We also have a doctor. Como ustedes decían, we have a doctor, as you were saying. We have a businessman. Usually, uh, cuando decimos uh, business administrator, yeah, that's uh, that's the career, right? So you're a businessman or a businesswoman in that case. So here we go. So that would be business woman. If it's a woman, right? And then, this is not tenemos aquí, American football players, but though that's like a serious career in the United States. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and there are female football players and male football players, right? Um, and then, let's see, we also have secretaries, como nos comentaba, as we were saying, we also have secretary, we have soldiers, 
we have um, repairmans or mechanics, which is, uh, it ends up being the same thing, right? Son sinónimos. We have professors. Sabemos cuál es la diferencia entre un professor y un teacher, guys? No. No? Profession and profession. Be between a professor, this one. Uh, yes, when when and the I people teacher. when the people um, study <laughs> at the university. That's correct, guys. A teacher uh, teaches a, for example, at a school, at a at an academy, for example, and then a professor teaches at a university or any or, or a college or any other sort of um, superior education. Cualquier tipo de educación superior, it is um, it is taught by a professor, and then anything below. Uh, superior education. Excuse me, teacher. Y uh, bachelor, bachelor is para universidad también. Un bachelor, yes. Un bachelor ya es es el es el título que viene siendo el equivalente a la licenciatura de nosotros. Mm. Yeah. So the difference is that um, okay. So in the United States, at least in the United States and Canada, I. Ya el sistema educativo de Europa es otro rollo. Pero at least for the United States and Canada, tienen uh, high school, like, right, you graduate high school just as you do here, así como lo hacemos aquí, solo que ya son tres años. Um, and then you go off to college. And once you graduate college, you can go to university. You can either go to a college or you can go to a specialized school. Que es cuando escuchamos que la gente se va a law school, a med school, a nurse school, etcétera, etcétera. Porque en vez de irse a college para sacar un bachelor's o un major, les dicen también eh, es otro tipo de, de grado que ellos tienen o un major, que no es una maestría. Uh, that's a master's. Lo vamos a ir poniendo aquí. All right, so let's write this down, guys. Let's write this down. Okay, so you finish high school, right? You finish high school, and then you can either go to college or a specialized school. It being law school, med school, etc. Then, uh, y esto, uh, and this takes um, around, dependiendo, del, dependiendo del, de la carrera, it takes between two and four years. Then, when you are done with that, you can go to university. Oh, and here you can get either a major or a bachelor's. And then uh, you can go off to university. Después pueden ir a la universidad. And en las universidades no hay de todas las carreras like we do here for example in a college you can find the most common careers oh aquí entra también business school son las personas que estudian más tiempo porque they need to specialize right so um, en los colleges dan carreras como um, let's say Licenciatura en computación, uh, licenciatura en idiomas, licencia, eh, dan, um, let's see, uh, psico, eh, psicología, um, ¿qué más, qué más, qué más, qué más? Eh, um, uh, social work, 
etc. Mm. Right? And then, en las universidades dan las carreras que son más complejas. Biología, por ejemplo, licenciatura en biología, licenciatura en ciencias naturales, etc. Licenciatura en matemáticas. And then, en las universidades, in the universities, you can learn on how to be, for example, an engineer or ingeniero. Mm -hmm. um, or especializarte. You, la mayoría de la gente va a las universidades solo a sacar masters. For example, let's say that you went to business school. Alguien que sea administrador de, de quiera ser administrador de empresas goes to business school first antes de poder ir a la universidad. Y la universidad ya solo se va a especializar. So you, let's say that you uh, have a bachelor's degree. Once you have a bachelor's, entonces you can go to university to get then you go to university to get let's say an exam a, a master's in international business for example and so on and so on and so on y en las universidades también se pueden sacar los phd que son los doctorados right and doctorados no doctor en medicina sino doctorados for example Um, you know, like you, you can get a un doctorado here for matemáticas, for psicología, for um, anything really. <clears throat> Solo es un grado de especialización. So that's how school works in the United States. So it, it tiene un montón de facetas, but it's really um, better porque te permite estudiar más en menos tiempo. So it's great. Teacher, y esa palabra major, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Mayor, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Major, yes, major. Major, major. Uh, major, okay. yes, that's major. correct. Major. ¿Cómo se estudia? Major. Yeah, sin miedo, como si estuviera con J. Major, major. Así, major. ¿Cómo se estudia? Major. Así? Major. major. Uh, Excellent. ¿Y ese major qué significa? All right, so a major is como una especialización, as I was telling you. So el bachelor's viene, viene a ser, no es exactamente lo mismo, pero viene a ser como una licenciatura. And then a major, por ejemplo, hay bachelor's que vienen con un major, que uno tiene que sacar un major, for example. Um, eh, una persona que se gradúa de psicología, a bachelor's in psychology with a major in... Um, Children's Education, una persona con licenciatura en psicología con una especialización en educación de niños, por ejemplo. Y, y hay solo... Ya. Yeah. Pero tanto majors como bachelors es lo mismo o siempre no. lleva el mismo significado. No. Um, a major, usually, si solo sacamos un major, es como, es como que venga a ser, como que venga a ser, no es exactamente lo mismo, pero es como que venga a ser un técnico. So it's usually shorter. It's menos tiempo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Aplica okay. para una maestría Thanks. también. No, uh, las maestrías ya son masters. It, ya, eso ya solo se estudia en university. Okay. Here. Ya. Pregunta. Sí, este, me gustaría saber qué es lo que tenemos que hacer con la dirección que ha mandado el chat. Ah, ok. Uh, that is a form, es un formulario which you can do en el momento en que tengan chance, se los voy a mandar a WhatsApp también. Solo es para, es anónimo, es anónimo. It's just so that I know en qué parte de la platform van. Y solo me ponen, voy en la section one, knowledge check tal. Y solo me dicen eso. O voy en, el, en la section five, eh, voy en la section three, uh, point, uh, three point tal, right? Y se los voy a mandar a WhatsApp igualmente, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, all right. So, let's continue, guys. And we also have painters, we have mechanics, magicians, right? 
We have, this doesn't belong to our culture, pero están las geishas también. We have gardeners, housekeepers, que son las amas de llave. We have farmers, flight attendants, firemen, son los más comunes, right? Foremen, se les dice a los maestros de obra, que, que les llamamos aquí. So, foremen. We have engineers, carpenters, a footballer, which is different than American football player, because this is soccer, right? And, sure. Pero yeah. geisha no tiene traducción. ¿Qué sería? Lo que pasa es que geisha es una palabra en japonés. Pero en realidad, ¿qué? qué? Geisha es una figura tradicional de la cultura japonesa, which um, son mujeres que se dedican a, las, a un arte que es de la tradición japonesa. And what they do is, um, son para entretener. Um, oh. Ellas se arreglan y tienen que verse así como super puras. And look like the beauty standard for Japanese beauty. Son el estándar de belleza para, para la cultura japonesa tradicional, right? And se presentan, hacen presentaciones, etc. It's entertainment industry. Okay. Uh, Actrices o actores. Teacher, mm. ¿y builder? Builder. Un yeah, builder es un constructor. No son necesariamente actor, actrices. Um, they are mostly... Um, es que es algo muy de la cultura japonesa. No lo podemos nosotros comprender porque no tenemos nada igual aquí. Es parte de la cultura de ellos. But they are... Um, pero hay gente aquí, aquí en el país que se viste como una japonesa, ajá, que se, se peina, se las cejas y todo oh, el, yeah. el, el, ajá, a eso me refiero. Eh, bueno, en el caso de aquí, ¿verdad? Sí, yeah, pero esas son las geishas, ajá, porque allá, eso es una, ajá, una profesión real ajá, allá. Sí, eh, ajá, es algo natural. Ya, yeah. so we also have lifeguards, guys, uh, lunchroom supervisors. Um, teacher, teacher, yeah. eh, eh, plumber es diferente a builder. Yes, a plumber es un plomero. A plumber es un fontanero. Okay. Yeah, and Thank a builder you. es como un albañil, right? He's just um, uh, trabajando en la obra, right? Okay, gracias. Of course, we have photographers. In pilots, we have scientists, um, reporters, and reporters the same for a man and a woman. We have a student, and student is an occupation as well. Surgeons, we have a train conductor. We don't have trains here, no tenemos trenes aquí, but this is a profession, a train conductor, nurses, Nurses, nurse es lo mismo para hombres y para mujeres, all right, guys? So those are nurses, electrician, uh, doorman, la persona que nos abre la puerta en un hotel, that's doorman. A construction worker, que sí viene a hacer lo mismo que un builder. Oh, this is a Catholic nun. Nun es la palabra para monja, right? Uh, we have a clown. Oh, que significa surgeon. Surgeon. We have a surgeon. Excellent surgeon. Es un cirujano. Surgeon. Surgeon. Yes. No Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Nurse en una mujer. Nurse para hombre y para mujer. Para both as nurse. Ah, ok. Yeah. Ok, gracias. Of course. Sí, no aparece lawyer aquí, pero we know lawyer, right? We know lawyer, abogados, lawyer. Teacher uh, y vigilante. A vigilante. Those are watchmen. Este es, estos son vigilantes, so a vigilante will be a watchman. 
Remember, when we say M-E-N, esto es hombres, and M-A-N, hombre, singular, plural. Okay. Thank you. Of course, we have a clown as well, and a builder, even architect, an architect, or an architect. All right, guys. ¿Hay alguna profesión que no esté aquí que quieran saber cómo se dice? Baker. Baker. Tenemos los bakers as well, yes. Un tipo de chef. Pero baker no, no, no es panadero. Teacher, chef. Oh, yeah, as well. Todos los, a baker, cualquier persona se entiende que, que hornear, right? So, yeah. And chef? Chef, the same, yeah. Chef is a French word, so ese no cambia. Mm. Costurera o costurera. All right, that's a tailor. Tailor. Yeah. Okay. And you can get uh, you can go to a tailor and get a tailored suit. Un traje, un traje hecho a medida, un traje hecho para usted. A tailored suit. So that's a tailor. También tenemos uh, los real estate. Uy, I'm sorry. Real estate agents. Estate es de los estados, right? Estado de Estados Unidos. And state es de propiedad. So real estate, propiedad. Agents son las personas de bienes raíces, los corredores de bienes raíces. We also have um, brokers. And brokers son las personas que trabajan en la bolsa de valores. Like in the movie of The Wolf of Wall Street, donde sale Leo DiCaprio. And he's a broker there. Se encargan de vender uh, acciones y cosas así. Uh, we, are, we also have accountants. Yeah. Contadores. We have uh, um, customer agents, los agentes de los call centers, right? Customer agents. Uh, we have retailers. Retailer. Un retailer es cualquier persona que trabaja en una tienda como en Simán, en cualquier almacén. That's a retailer. Los drivers. We have drivers as well. Yes, that's correct. Even driver, I'm sorry, drivers. Uh, and a driver can be anything desde los drivers de Uber hasta los drivers de trucks, los que llevan um, rastas, right? Okay. They can be truck drivers or Uber drivers or limousine drivers, for example. Teacher, ese sería motorista, driver. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Let's see, we also have, um, well, we have psychologists. I'm sorry. Psy yeah, psychologists and psychiatrists. We have, um, let's see, therapists. And anything between therapists, the terapias um, emocionales to physical therapists, right? Uh, terapeutas físicos. Um, let's see. We also have um, bank tellers. Bank tellers. Go ahead. Oh, a vet. Veterinarian. A los veterinarios usualmente se les dice solo vet. So I have to take my dog to the vet. Porque es larga la palabra, right? So it's a vet. Veterinarian. And ophthalmologo? Ophthalmologist. Okay. All right, guys. So moving forward. Now that we uh, have seen some vocabulary about professions, um, but we'll come back to this one. Bueno, lo vamos a hacer ahorita, real quick. 
All right, let's see. Esta solo es una explicación rapidita de la pronunciation between, um, ¿cómo pueden ustedes escuchar que native speaking people um, will pronounce do and does? Y no es que lo pronuncien diferente, it's just that uh, se comen la palabra casi siempre. So what they tend to do, en lo que carga esto, what they tend to do is that they say it very quickly. Lo dicen bien rápido. So for example, as we can see right here, here, for example. Cuando vemos esta línea justo aquí, what this means is that they're going to say it very fast. So um, they can say, for example, where do you work? Y no escuchamos de un solo where do you work, sino que vamos a escuchar, where do you work? What do you do? Or what do you do? What do you do? It, it, no estoy diciendo que así lo tienen que decir ustedes. That's okay. Sino que cuando ustedes estén en un listening, you may hear that. Puede que lo escuchen. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? What do they work? What do they do? So it's, it's almost it's the same. Excuse me. Yeah. It's the same. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Excellent example, Marlene. So yeah, that's what happens. Y probablemente nosotros lo hacemos en español también y nos damos cuenta, right? Um, so that's just a very small um, pronunciation thing que tengan en cuenta. Sobre todo en Estados Unidos sucede esto, que se comen la palabra. So, uh, and, and they talk really fast en algunos lugares. Otras cosas de pronunciation que puede que escuchen. Um, si escuchan hablar a alguien del sur, por ejemplo. Is that you can listen to a very specific accent. Where they can say, oh, where will we work? Porque no pronuncian la R casi. Where do you work? Where do you do? Where do you work? Where do you do? And that's the way they talk. Y esa es, esa es la manera en la que hablan. Ese es el acento de ellos. Um, like Tennessee and all of that. Entonces, eh, es, es bien interesante si en algún momento se pone, si buscan en YouTube, like um, different... Uh, U.S. accent, se los recomiendo, le puede buscar un video y se los voy a mandar. Uh, it's really good for practicing pronunciation. Todavía yo, cuando estoy trabajando y escucho algunos de esos acentos, yo me quedo, wow, oh my God, what is he saying? ¿Qué está diciendo? Because um, it, it tends to be difficult. So, esto es un buen ejemplo de what you may encounter. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? What do they work? What do they do? Así que los motivo, guys, a que cuando estén viendo esta parte en, en, en su platform, intenten decirlo junto con el audio. You can try and go ahead and say it. All right, so, hoy sí. I want us to see this right here. Going back to it. We have WH questions. Para que, pong, para que lo pongamos en ejemplos con los jobs and occupations. All right, so. Can I please have Alejandra Beatriz read? Hello. Hi, these examples. Where do you work? In a hospital. Excellent. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like like it, it, I really like it. Me cuesta un poquito, el like it. Like it, yes. Like it, ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Like it. Like it. Excellent, yeah, that's amazing. All right, thank, thank you. you very much, Alex. All right, You're welcome. let's see. Can I please have William read these examples, please? Um, where does he work? In a hotel. Uh, hotel. What does he, hotel. 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 Uh, yeah. What does he do? He's a manager. Excellent. 
Um, how does he like? It's okay. Excellent, William. Thank you very much. All right, and can I please have Rita read this one? Okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. Where do they do? They, they was... Um, Waiters. Es que casi no veo. How do they like, like it? They hate it. Thank you very much, Rita. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So, guys, ¿qué podemos ver para estos WH questions? We have three questions, which are the next ones. We have where do or does, I'm sorry, X person work or works? depending on who are who we're talking about right the nemos what do or does and the person do it the nemos how do or does she he they them me um you like it now this last question, esta última pregunta, I do want to say que no es tan común escucharla, right? Um, no es tan común escuchar, hey, what do you do? Oh, I'm a, I'm a doctor. How do you like it? It's not, no es tan común escucharla. However, you can hear it. Algunas variaciones de esa pregunta pueden ser and said, and do you like it? And how's it going? Uh, do you enjoy it? Son variaciones, right? La pregunta. Pero basically, what these questions, uh, para lo que las vamos a estar ocupando, es para preguntarle a la persona su profesión. So, where do you work? Nos está diciendo in a hospital, in a hotel, in a restaurant. ¿Por qué? Porque le estamos preguntando where. Where y where, right? Entonces la respuesta debe ser un lugar. Where do you work? Oh, I work in a call center. Oh, I work in a accountant's office, en una oficina de contadores. I work at a lawyer firm, en una firma de abogados. En este otro ejemplo, Nos preguntan, what do you do? Y cuando nos preguntan, what do you do? Nos están preguntando nuestra profesión. Cuando nos hagan esta pregunta, what do you do? No vamos a contestar con, oh, I take calls and I file applications and I talk to people. No, no nos están preguntando específicamente qué es lo que hacemos. But they are asking about what our job is. So, what do you do? I'm a doctor, como pueden ver en las respuestas. What does he do? He's a manager. What do they do? They're, they are waiters. They're waiters. And how do you like it? Oh, do you like it? How's it going? Do you enjoy it? Ahí podemos contestar ya de manera más libre. I like it. It's fine. It's okay. Or I hate it. They hate it. He hates it. He hates it. All right. So, Oh, I see, guys. All right. Jessica. Yeah. Cuando preguntan, what's your job? Ahí también podemos contestar cuál es nuestra profesión. What's your job? Oh, I am an accountant, for, for ejemplo, for example. No, eh, no es específicamente alguna labor que realice, sino que solo su... Ajá. Jessy nos pregunta, what's your job? Eh... I'm an accountant. Oh, and what do you uh, what do you do as an accountant? ¿Qué haces como un uh, ya como contador? O sea, uh, what do you do? Um, what do you do in that profession? Or what do you do every day? 
ya cuando nos preguntan específicamente que cuáles son nuestras labores, right? Y ya podemos elaborar, right? Um, oh, I, um, I complete charts and I do, I do the balance for this account, et cetera, et cetera, right? Thank you. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, so let's see. Jessica. Diga, teacher. So, Jessica, uh, where do you work? I work Cafe La Majada. Excellent. <laughs> My mom loves that coffee. So, it, that's great to know. Excellent. <laughs> Awesome. So you work at, let's remember this. Si vamos a hablar de un lugar específico, for example, aquí podemos decir in a hospital, in a hotel, in a restaurant. Porque estamos diciendo en general, es un, es un hospital, es un hospital, es un hotel, es un restaurante. Pero si yo voy a decir I work um, at Café La Majada, for example, que yo trabajo en un lugar en específico, debemos decir at. At, um, at hospital diagnostico, for example. Oh, I'm a doctor. Oh, and where do you work? At hospital diagnostico or at diagnostic hospital, right? Whatever. Um, uh, where, do you, uh, where do you work? I work at Inglés Corporativo. Si solo voy a dar la generalidad, I work in a I work uh, teaching in, a, in an English academy, for example. Así cuando nos referimos al lugar en específico, decimos at, all right? Excellent. Okay, so let's continue. Eso es si vamos a decir el lugar específico. Si me van a decir solo como, oh, I work in an office. Okay, that's fine, that's perfect. So let's see. A, So, um, Marlene. Hi. Hi, Marlene. So, what do you do? I am a secretary. You're a secretary. I'm secretary. That's great. Awesome, Marlene. Thank you very much. También les quiero dar esta información. All right. Porque esta es una ocupación. And... I think it's important, yo creo que es importante, es válida, es excellent, and it is necessary, y es necesaria para algunas, para, para muchas familias. Stay at home mom, o stay at home dad. Algunas personas en Estados Unidos cuando tienen hijos, what they do, um, Porque por el estilo de vida que se lleva allá, algunas personas se quedan por un tiempo como, igual aquí, igual aquí, right? Um, como stay at home moms o stay at home dads. Y, e incluso se pone en papeles cuando digamos que van a escribir al colegio al niño for the first time y le preguntan al, al, a la mamá, uh, so, la labor de la mamá, oh, she is a doctor, ¿verdad? es una doctora. Y el papá, oh, he's a stay-at-home dad. Significa que el papá no está yendo a trabajar en este momento, se está quedando en la casa y su trabajo es cuidar de la casa y, y de los niños, right? So, um, that's important porque allá todo lo documentan. So, esto también tiene un nombre. Si ustedes son un stay-at-home mom o, soy, o son un stay-at-home dad, then that's completely valid. Y quería agregarlo también porque me faltó. Okay? All right. So, oh, I see. Let's continue. Can I have uh, Alejandra, Beatriz? Okay. Hi, Ali. So, uh, do you like uh, what you do? I'm sorry. Uh, do you like what you do, Ali? I really like it. Excellent. I'm glad. I'm glad. No hay nada mejor que a uno le guste su trabajo. All right. So, uh, William. So, William, 
uh, where do you work? I work at Grupo Cool Sabor. Excellent. Hey, that's great. Ahí compró mi papá su carro. That's where my dad got his car from. That's excellent. También este vocabulario, guys. In case, podemos decir también en relación a los trabajos, esto es súper importante también. O tal vez si están en una entrevista de trabajo, you can say this. I am currently looking for a job. Estoy actualmente buscando un trabajo. Or I am unemployed. Estoy desempleado en este momento. So I, you can say, I am currently looking for a job. Y I am unemployed. Yeah, what's meaning currently? Currently is actualmente. So this word means at this moment, in este momento, currently. Repeat, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Of course, it is currently. Or current, currently, ¿cómo es? Yes, currently, currently. that's correct. Current. Currently. Okay. Of course, como si la U fuera una O, currently. Teacher, teacher. Yeah. Eh, stay at home, eso aplicaría para las personas que están trabajando desde casa o no? No, it says some working from home or home office. So you can say you are working from home or you are doing home office. Porque stay at home, it means that your job is to take care of the house and of the children, or si no tiene, bueno, si, porque si no sería unemployed, and of the children. Uh, so stay at home, que no tiene un empleo más que cuidar de la casa y de, y de los niños. Y ya si you have a job, for example, yo estoy trabajando desde mi casa, so I am working from home as tal cosa. I am working from home as an accountant. I am working from home as a teacher. I am working from home as a customer agent, et cetera, et cetera. Or I am currently doing home office. It's ESE. Stay at home on, sería como ama de casa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. O oh, amo de casa para el uso. Amo. Mm -hmm. Es que eso casi no lo vemos aquí, right? But it happens. Permítanme un segundo, guys. Of course. Eso, sí, eso casi no lo vemos aquí tan seguido que haya amos de casa, but it does happen and it is completely normal. En otros lugares es completamente, completamente normal. All right, so let's see. Usualmente, pues, es el stay at home. Um, eh, perdón, va a trabajar, pues, el que tiene el mejor trabajo, right? Si están en una situación así, pues siempre sigue trabajando el que tiene el mejor trabajo. Por ejemplo, si la mamá es doctora, ella no va a dejar de trabajar, right? All right, let's see. Can I have Nestor? Hi. Hi, Nestor. So, what do you do? Uh, is uh, business is secure. Oh, that's excellent. You're a business executive. That's great. Awesome. Allow me one moment. Let's see. Thank you very much, Nestor. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. All right. Uh, and can I please have Briselda? See? Hi, Briselda. So, Briselda, what do you do? I work. I'm sorry. Alguien me preguntó algo. Yes. Cuando nosotros decimos, uh, how do you like it? Estamos preguntando algo así como, ¿qué tanto te gusta el trabajo? Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Exacto. Okay. Si yo les pregunto, what do you do? Y están estudiando, también me pueden decir, oh, I'm a student. That's fine. 
It's so Griselda. I'm sorry. Uh, what do you do? I I work in right now. All right. Uh, and uh, where do you work? I work in. I work to home office now, but I am a account assistant. Oh, that's assistant. excellent. Assistente yeah. administrativo, no sé. Yeah, uh, that's asistente, uh... asistente general de gerencia, algo así. No sé cómo se dice. Of course, un asistente administrativo, that's an administrative assistant. That's correct. Okay. Thank you very much, Priselda. Yes, that's an administrative assistant. I had a job once as an administrative assistant. I really liked it. Es súper bonito ese trabajo. All right, guys. So, in estos minutos, I would like for us to do a reading. We have a reading right here for Joe Profiles. And meanwhile, mientras carga esto, I would like to go ahead and ask, uh, let's see, Sergio. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Sergio. So, Sergio, where do you work? In construction company. In a construction company. Great. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sergio. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. And I would like for us to do this reading right here. Allow me one moment. Let's see. All right. Podemos ver el reading o lo hago más grande. Or be, please. Of course. Más grande. Más grande. Yes, no problem. One moment. Let's see. Okay. En este Perfect. momento. ¿Lo vemos ahí? ¿Se lee? Sí. Eh, no se ve bien. No se ve, no se ve nada. No lo vemos. Wait. Oh, ok. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just asking si se puede leer o si se ve muy blurry, si se ve muy borroso. Algo borroso, Ticha. Sí, vea. Yeah. yeah, okay, all right. So we are going to go ahead and try and read it right here. Um, en los últimos minutos. Can I have a, a volunteer, un voluntario, alguien que me diga, yo si alcanzo a leer uh, for the first one, for this one that says actress. Okay, please read uh, this first one, this first square that says actress and Lisa Parker. Okay. Okay, Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a wait waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditioned for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she is tired a lot, but she is following her dreams. Excellent. Thank you very much. So Lisa Parker has two jobs. She has two jobs. And she works as a waitress. ¿Qué dijimos que era waitress, guys? Mesera. Mesera. Excellent. At night, but she's really an actress. And during the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dreams. So she has two jobs, right, guys? She's an actress and she's also a waitress. Okay. Otra, otro volunteer que alcance a leer para leer es the next one. A, a revisar. 
Okay, please go ahead. This one for video game tester. ¿Quién me iba a leer? Yo, yo, hey, teacher. Yo. Oh, okay, okay, go ahead, Mario. Okay, a lot of teenagers want John Blues. Joe, he plays video game for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever, ever burning? Never, John almost always wins. Excellent, Maria, thank you very much. Now this one is for a video game tester. Un video game tester is una persona que se dedica a probar video, uh, videojuegos, right? That's their job. This es el trabajo de ellos. Obviamente no solo a jugar, right? They have to find mistakes in los juegos and report them y todo eso. Uh, so it says, lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. So an interesting fact is que a estas personas, they're expensive, son trabajadores caros, porque las compañías, they have to give them like good um, medical insurance porque pues se les arruinan los ojos, los oídos, porque tienen que estar con audífonos, um, Entonces tienen que tener, tienen un seguro médico por epilepsia, por estar viendo una pantalla tanto tiempo. Y, so it's really, um, it's not that good of a job in mi opinión, but okay. Okay, so who else uh, alcanza a leer so that we can read Doug Walker? Doug Walker, yo. Okay, go ahead, please, Marlene. Um, as Nikki Pick. Nikki Peaks walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or time. Becky is an, a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes um, she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Excellent, Marlon. Thank you very much. So Becky Peak is a dog walker. Esto también es una profesión and there is actually un señor que es un dog walker aquí por mi colonia and that's his job, ese es su trabajo, um, walking dogs and me imagino que debe de ser muy cansado, walking all day with lots of dogs que sean stubborn, que sean necios. So Becky Peak walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. ¿Por qué professional? Porque se entrenan, right? They have to train to know how to handle para saber cómo manejar a tantos perros. Uh, she walks dogs for other people, los perros de alguien más. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Llevan hasta 20 perros a la misma vez. So that's a lot, if you ask me. Okay, guys, en este último minutito, oh no, ya son las nueve. All right, guys, now, vamos a terminarlo mañana, guys. So, it's nine. Um, so I do want to thank you very much for um, for this class today. A mí se me había olvidado que esta semana llegamos hasta mañana porque no tuvimos clase el lunes. So tomorrow, guys, vamos a terminar la section three y vamos a review el midterm, guys. Vamos a, bueno, los, lo voy a revisar con ustedes. Uh, so that cuando ustedes ya lo estén haciendo este examen, no lleguen um, con dudas, and you can do it. Y siempre me pueden hacer las dudas también por WhatsApp, that's okay. So we are going to finish section three tomorrow, y vamos a ver el midterm, guys. All right? So thank you very much, guys, for sharing this class okay. with me today, y nos vemos mañana. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, teacher. Good night, Jessica. Bye bye. Goodbye, Pablo. Bye. Juan Pablo. Bye.